Stacy, if Walmart does not have pricing power, who does? You know, Brian, it's it's where there's smoke, there's fire here, and Target guided down very you know only a couple weeks after they reported earnings, and Walmart's following here, and I think the in the inflation impact on the consumer companies just simply did not appreciate here. You know, consumers are going into the grocery store and paying nine, ten plus percent more for basics, and they're not spending on discretionary at this point, and you're seeing that across the board. I mean, you look at, we monitor about 80 companies in U.S. and Europe, and less than 10% of them don't have higher promotions versus last year or even versus 2019 at this very point. Yeah, we're showing right now on our screen, Stacey, Target stock down 4.5%, Costco down about 2.5%, Amazon down over 3%. Is that fair? I know the market's not fair. I hate that term. But do you think this could be a Walmart problem? Or is Walmart more likely that canary in the consumer coal mine? Well, it's never just a Walmart problem because Walmart is the consumer. But you do have to kind of divvy it up and say, okay, this is a lower income consumer Um, they're spending more on food, which is lower margin. By the way, Walmart raised their comp guidance because of inflation, but lowered their earnings. You know, they're going to be down high single digits versus expectations of flat earnings growth for Q2. So I think, you know, Walmart is absolutely a reflection of the consumer across the board. And Target, while it's slightly higher income, is feeling the same impact. And they told us that weeks ago. Bath & Body Works just told us last week that they're seeing the consumer come in. So it's it's absolutely across the board. When you're stealing more money from the wallet to put food in the refrigerator, and something else has to go. And that's exactly what we're yeah. seeing from body care to consumer electronics. I was actually in a Walmart yesterday that has a grocery store in it. I mean, there were a lot of people in the Walmart. I should have taken a closer look at their carts to kind of figure out where they may be going. But here's the thing, Stacey. Here's what I worry about, not just retail, but consumer products, because, as you know, my wife works in consumer products. and We talk about this around the dinner table, which is the, everyone's trying to increase prices to the, to, the, to the vendors. They've got higher labor costs, higher product, higher input costs, higher product costs, denim packaging, whatever it is. Now, at the same time, Walmart's going to be demanding price cuts from them. I mean, it feels like we've got this consumer products and retailer game of chicken, which is going to end very badly for one of them. And you're correct, because think about the ripple effects. It's not as if the spread between Walmart, what they're charging the customer, and what they're paying the vendor is, is really changed. It's that the vendor cost of of operating has gone way, way up. So how do you squeeze the vendors without the same thing happening to them, their operating margins coming down? So there's this massive ripple effect. And Walmart also is going to set the tone in the market, as Target has, very aggressively. So everybody else has to follow. And meanwhile, again, your cost basis is not changing, but you're trying to move inventory by lowering end prices. And you're correct. This does not end well because the ripple effects through the chain, there has to be a push on vendors when perhaps they can afford it less now than at any time in recent history. Yeah. 